My name is Bob Branscombe. I'm going to be talking about project management, a few tips, a few ideas, bits and pieces along those lines. Probably the most important thing to think about is defining what makes your scheme a success. Give yourself one or two items that without those the scheme will fail. If it's granite worktops that is your dream, any other worktops will seem like it's a failure, even if you've got better insulation, all sorts of other bits about the building that are wonderful. You want those tangible items that you've been dreaming of to forefront in your mind, budget for them, account for them and don't lose sight of them. I think it's very important that for successful project management you realise that communication is the key to what you're doing. You are there to facilitate and liaise between the professionals that are doing the technical tasks. You don't need to know how to mass and design a building, but you do need to know how to get the architect to do what he's paid to do. So you're looking for loopholes, gaps between the professions, coordinating people and keep them talking to each other. If they don't talk, they assume. If they assume, it will cost your clients some money. You're looking for gaps when you project manage, or if I was being cynical, I'd call them loopholes. The interface between trades, between professions, between tasks, that's where mistakes happen. You can rely on people to lay their bricks correctly, but if you haven't figured out how the carpenter's going to liaise with the brick layer to carry out his work subsequently, you're failing as a project manager. Loopholes, gaps, you mess it up if you don't focus on them.